30 days ago, I got my steering wheel ready to learn how to drift. Since then, I've played almost every single day with the wheel, making a little bit of progress every single day. Now, I had three goals that I also wanted to accomplish within these 30 days, and those were learning how to drift using a 900 degrees wheel rotation, starting at 540 and then slowly moving my way up, to 900. Second goal was to get 1 million drift points using a rear wheel drive car in the volcano drift zone in Forza Horizon 5. And that took a while, which you guys will see soon. And the third one being more of a rule was that I wasn't gonna use any sort of wheel assist or sort of extra help with the wheel, basically making everything a bit more realistic using no assist. Alright, so day one slash uh, two, I guess, uh, was my first time using the wheel over on Twitch, just uh, trying to do something. This thing freaking whips, dude. It's a lot of fun though, but <laughs> dude, this thing just pulls, it's insane. Yeah, it's a lot of fun once you get a clean drift going. You have to let go of the wheel and kind of catch it at the right angle. As you can see, it is insanely tricky compared to using a controller or even just mouse and the keyboard, you know? Throttle control is key here. Here we go, that's better, a bit less gas. Okay, make some progress. Okay. Hey, that ain't too bad, actually. Hold it, hold it. Hey, yo, that wasn't too bad, actually. Hold up, hold up. Okay, break, 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 break. Dude, like, once you can start, like, picking up speed, and you're just countering the force feedback, you have to struggle so much sometimes to get it back. Gonna be a struggle with the shifter. Oh, dude, I can't even imagine once I get the shifter. So at this time, I hadn't actually gotten my shifter and my handbrake yet. Uh, they arrived, like, a couple days later. I have to sit there, like... <laughs> Let's do everything. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, so hard to hold a perfect angle. This is it. That's the 700k run. Let's go. Nice, 720. Let's go, dude. All right, so we're now on day three, I'd say, with this wheel. And I've actually already increased it to uh, 720 degrees. So we now have to spin this much that way. And all the way back that way. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the handbrake and the shifter to come. It's probably on like day five of this progress. We'll have both the handbrake and the shifter here. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with the progress so far, man. I mean, day one was absolutely awful. I cannot even go in a straight line. And now I'm actually able to run this whole volcano run. But of course some crashes here and there, you have to break sometimes. I think the max points I've gotten so far is maybe like 750,000. And yeah, one of my goals for this 30 day progress is gonna be to try and get 1 million drift points uh, going on the drift zone here at the volcano in Forza. Yeah, hopefully when I get the handbrake, it should make it a little bit easier, we'll see. So here is the full setup. I guess we finally have everything installed. The wheel, we got the handbrake, which sits very, very sturdy with this clamp here. Then of course the shifter right over here. I kind of have to move everything away every time I want to put this up. So I guess we'll see if I'll end up getting like a racing rig over here so I can put everything in like one place and just keep it there. I'm quite far away from my monitor, so I kind of have to fix that as well. Maybe get like a new monitor, I don't know. Anyway, so let's hop into Forza and try this thing out. I'm currently using 720 on the wheel rotation and I think I maxed out the uh, force feedback uh, sensitivity to max as well um, on the control panel of the wheel. Now for the handbrake. Woohoo, it works too. Nice, dude. Damn, the handbrake is gonna take a while to get used to because I've never used it in Forza. Oh, this feels so nice. Okay, third gear. Let's so handbrake here. Oh, I'll be too wide again. Yeah. I'm gonna have to learn how to control the wheel with one hand while I'm handbraking because I've never done that yet. But yeah, so I'll head over to some drift zones right now, just practice, and yeah, probably gonna be some music and a montage, hopefully, if I managed to do something nice, you know? <laughs> we'll see. Woohoo! I feel so good! Let's go, dude. Woohoo! Let's go! Hell yeah! I'm in off track. Save it. No. Oh. 
<laughs> that was smooth. Okay, kind of. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, 770. Oh, I messed up so bad, though. I could've gotten a lot more. Yeah, be all dude. With a handbrake now. <laughs> we can slide, boy. Oh, my God. And yeah, dude. It's so much more fun now. Nice. Handbrake slows down. Yeah, when I use the handbrake, I get a little bit too little speed to be able to keep the drift in third gear. Right, so there's actually a way to make sure that this doesn't happen uh, where the car stalls for a second when using the handbrake. You simply just have to press down the clutch as you engage the handbrake as well. That way you can actually get on the throttle much faster and in real life it would, uh, yeah, basically make your car not break. So yeah, shout out to this guy for giving me this tip. It really helped out a ton. A little handbrake, see if we can get 800k here. Come on! 801,000, let's go, dude! Not too bad for the second run of the day. This is more of an arcade drifter, which is why it might be a bit trickier to actually drift in compared to Forza and Assetto Corsa. Because you're not really meant to use a steering wheel in this game. Since it's more of an arcade. Oh god, oh god, yep, yep, yep. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, well. Oh, let's get it. Yo, that was so clean. Oh, close to the container. And what is this thing now? Freaking ramp right in the way. Nice, nice. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Come on, save it. Lost a bit of angle. Oh, that was so close to the wall. And back to finish it off. Nice. Okay, maybe not absolutely perfect, but still. Yeah, we'll see if I manage to do any tandems with you guys. Kind of sick if we manage to do some at least. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that was so clean. I'm not gonna stop streaming until I hit 1 million drift points in the Volcano Drift Zone in Forza. But sure, 9.23. There's definitely some room for improvement, we just gotta figure out where, you know. No! 9.86 again!
And that was my best drift run in a set of Corsa so far with the setup. And yeah, I man, I have to say, after 30 days, I feel like I'm really happy with how I'm doing, honestly. I accomplished all the goals that I had, and yeah, I feel like I'm comfy enough now that I can just get on a Seto and yeah, drift around using 900 degrees, which I'm super pumped about. So if you guys made it this far into the video, be sure to subscribe. More wheel drifting content is gonna be coming out. I wanna make more drifting content using the wheel and street racing and cool stuff like that in a set of Corsa. So yeah, be sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss that, and I will see you guys later. So until then, take care, and let's drop that beat.